Well, hello there, it's Morgan here, and welcome to today's episode. Today's episode is for anyone who, like me, has ever dealt with feeling discouraged or frustrated after not seeing the results of something that you were looking forward to or waiting on or working toward, whether it was a immediate response that you were looking for or it was something that you had actually been waiting for for a very, very long time and still not seeing the results in the way that you were hoping for. This is something that I've been thinking about when it comes to that time of waiting and that time of not seeing those results. And this has just been an image that I've been holding on to. And I hope that it's something that you can carry with you today. And it all starts with an unlit candle, just like your regular candle, the most basic candle that you can imagine. (laughs) Just that's the only image that you need in mind for this idea. When I look down into a candle that isn't lit, I don't doubt the candle wick's ability to light a flame unless the wick has completely sunk into the wax, which of course happens sometimes. I trust that in the right timing, the wick will help bring forth fire. This completely contrasts (laughs) to my tendency to doubt things that have yet to be ignited. Now, of course, there are times in life where opportunities slip down into the wax like a candle that just could not hold on to that candle wick anymore to the point of no return. But then there are all of these other times when I'm just jumping to conclusions, looking down at a lack of results, answers, or clarity, starting to wonder if I should just give up. But what the unlit candle wick reminds me of is this. Of course, sometimes in life, we're going to have to say goodbye to a candle before we're ready as we watch the candle wick slip. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that there won't be other candles that bring forth worthy flames when the time is right. This is hard when the clock is ticking and I'm focused on time, but The more time I spend thinking and learning about candles, the more I learn. And when I start to learn about all of the variables a candle maker has to consider to choose the right wick, the diameter of the container that will hold it, what kind of wax is being used, how it's going to be tested, and so many more factors, it becomes clear to me that there are many steps to this process. And the same thing is true of my own, not currently lit candles in my life. What I'm learning from this is that I wanna be able to look at what isn't lit in my life and not doubt its ability to ignite at the right time. Even if I have to say goodbye to a candle that can no longer be lit, I want to grieve that and also in time believe that there will be other chances to fill this room with light. So the next time you peer down into an unlit candle, I hope you can notice within yourself how if you can see that wick that's there, how easy it is to not doubt that it's possible that, yeah, at some point, you know, we'll have what we need to be able to light this candle and the timing will be right. Of course, that's not always going to be the case, but there will be times where something seems like it's ended when in reality, it's just not being lit right now. Whether it's a dream or a hope of yours or something that you've started that you just had to take a break on, I just hope you know that It is not outrageous for you to consider that maybe, maybe it's a possibility that amidst all the things I've said goodbye to, there are these other things that might come back. There are these other things that might still ignite in their time. 
and holding the tension of that is not easy. But as we see with unlit candles, it's possible. It's possible to come back to things later, knowing that they will bring forth fire in their time. So before we go today, I would like to leave you with this idea, this question that you can sit with and carry with you today. And that is, imagine looking down at an unlit candle and feeling confident in its ability to ignite when the time is right.